where does this rank in terms of your best performances? Yeah, you've got me there. That's a good question. Probably the best. I think actually, I know we, we beat Ben United 4 0 last year. I think we performed better than them overall. Um, and I know the dynamic in a game changed when you get a 1 0 and, and, you know, us on our team. But I think the way we dominated the game throughout, uh, more or less, um, in terms of uh, shots and dangerous situations, uh was very very impressive we are, we are playing against a more or less fully strength uh man united team um i'm not, not an expert on that uh, but from s seeing what, what, I, what, what my knowledge of them are um <laughs> we are playing without our entire back four our replacement left back in the regular our number six in captain christian Nergaard, kevin Chiare. Um, and uh, Brian Willey coming off the bench, which of course was, was very good. That just made it even more impressive, uh, I would say. And the way we, we, we yeah, dominated throughout the game was in, 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 in incredible. 31 shots? 31 shots. That, uh, yeah. How we're not winning that game, I don't know. Uh, probably just because we couldn't score. Um, and I was almost losing my faith to the big football guard uh, when they scored. Uh, how can that happen? The, the <laughs> football are indeed brutal sometimes. Uh, and how can you explain that you lose a game, you're that dominant? Uh, uh, yeah, that's in, yeah, incredible. Then I would say another thing, clearly that we have been in, in a spell where we've been struggling in terms to get enough results, draws, or wins. And a lot of times I'm just been sitting in here and thinking, we've done a lot of things right, but for whatever reason, either make mistakes, of course, but also the market is not dropping for us, and, 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 and been, we have lost too many games. Um, and when you do that with the players' mentality, it's difficult to come back. And when you're this dominant that you were today, and you then can see the late goal, and then have the ability to come back. I don't know how to explain that. It's just incredible with, with, with the mentality and the character from the players. Um, it shows everything about this group. And that's, I've said it many times, that's why it's such a privilege to um, coach them. We can talk a lot about the 31 shots we had, but as you've said, your entire back four, you know, the injuries have really plagued your defence. And in the past, the back three has looked a little bit shaky at times. But what can you say about their performance? Actually, I haven't thought about that before now uh, because, of course, I've tried to think a little bit about what to say when you're coming to you guys or in your interviews. Very good question. Um, because the fake Man United team, where before the game, I mean that they've been informed at front three. You know, Gracia been in times unplayable, Rashford's back on, on, on a good level, Hoylund has been very good, with, um, Fernandes um, creating so many chances. And the, and the back three, they, they were really good today. And it was only a, a half transition where it's still 350-50 duels where the ball suddenly in the end dropped for them. Uh, so I think they, they really played a, a good game today. Chris Tony, um, you know, he didn't get his goal today, but that assist at the end, what does that show about his character? Because, you know, you, you miss those many chances and then the goal goes in. It's very easy to drop the level, but he's worked after that ball and then he set it on a plate for Ayo. Uh, yeah, that tells a lot about him to, to keep staying in the game. There's always something uh, you can get out of it. And uh, the, the chance actually dropped for him. He, uh, me knowing Ivan, he will, will not sleep tonight uh, because he will blame himself and didn't score and will be irritated. Uh, but hey, that happens. Uh, we all know it's the most important thing is you, you get on the end of the, of the chances. Um, on any other day, he, he scored two, maybe more. Um, but to stay in the game and then the touch on the very difficult ball coming down, the composure to keep it, and then know that you actually reverse it a little bit back for a cutback is very clever.
your sense of self. Yeah, as I, I think I'm a big believer that on Lucky or Martins or whatever, so let's say Ivan where hit the inside of the post. Um, what, eight out of ten times he scored there? Uh, for whatever reason he didn't uh, tonight. So so that's that's the part of, um, and then you say, we would talk a lot about, oh, this is a 100% chance when uh, the, we have a, a striker 1-1 uh, with the keeper. It was actually not a 100% chance. There's something we created together, coaches and, uh, and, the, and the media world. Because if you do that, you always score, what, three or four or six, no, sorry, six, uh, something like that. So it's a combination, mainly I would say, a little bit freak result in margins and a little bit unlucky. And then of course, we also need to look at ourselves and something we can do better, always. Uh, with Jehor Jarmelov, uh, he came into the side tonight. Last time I saw him play, he looked a little bit lost. But tonight, I mean, he dominated the ball throughout. Just what sort of improvement have you seen from him tonight and in the training session? I've been very imp impressed by Jehor uh, in many ways. I think he, he, I really like him as a, as a player. And he had that spell, I think, in the fall where he started at three or four games, something like that. And then a little bit out of the team again. Um, had a lot of substitution um, appearances and uh, started a few, I think, in the beginning of January. And then had a spell where he was just also in trainings, just mm, a little bit below his level. But now, as I think the last three or four weeks, he trained very well. I think he came on against Burnley, did well, born against Arsenal, did well. Uh, I've been training very well. So I was actually not in doubt that he should start. Uh, and that's a big credit to him. Uh, uh, because I think Frank Onyeka quite have done quite well, so um, that very pleased with his performance, and I, I think he, he he hopefully got a promising future here. It's as you mentioned before, not the first time we've seen him lose at performance and go go drop a point. Um, and while there are so many positives, to take this time we actually didn't drop points from winning position. Uh, oh, for, that, that's that's uh, oh, imagine that. <laughs> oh, that would be unbelievable. Uh, but, but, how, yeah. how much it's up to? I, yeah, crazy but, but but you're right. Of course, it's a performance that should have given, given us three points. Sure. Yeah. And there are obviously as many positives as you want to take from it. But when you look back on performances, I'm thinking of Tottenham City away. Is it something that's starting to come in mind, frustrate you a little bit, that you've just not been over the line? Uh, yes, of course. Um, but I don't think any of us can explain why football is like this sometimes. Why some teams are more lucky in a season uh, and I think it's luck and margins if they constantly have a lower XG than the opponent and still get points or less shots or whatever uh, uh, because you definitely also prove you can't continue like that as a team uh, because over time then, then they will boom, um, really show uh, your, your true level and sometimes I'm thinking I'd rather want to be a, a lucky coach than a, an okay coach uh, uh, but um, but we can't always explain why we're not getting over the line. Uh, last year we had these 12, 12 games unbeaten, where there was a lot of performance, but also something a little bit dropping our way. Uh, and then it's suddenly, oh, fantastic, we are on this run, we're doing everything fantastic. This time we're probably not doing that much different. Um, we, it's just not talking for us. Uh, but we, of course, need to look into what I would say is that we have made more mistakes this season, uh, bigger mistakes defensively uh, than last season. Um, but as long as the foundation is there, we, we just need to keep going. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very, very much, much, everybody. Thank you.